Hey, it's Natasha. And Khalil. And we are the co-hosts of Woke and Free. Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in to our 105th episode of Woke and Free. If you've been tuning in every week for Woke and Free Wednesday, you know that Woke and Free is all about being real and honest with each other and you. We talk about everything and anything important to us, you, the world, and nothing is off the table. This week, we're talking all about whether you can buy your future success. But before we dive deep into the subject, a couple of questions to ask. Make sure you definitely are following our podcast on Podbean. We're so excited to now be on Podbean. So if you haven't already checked to follow and, and download all our episodes, make sure you do that. If you are listening to the show on other platforms like iTunes, TuneIn, Stitcher, Google Play, SoundCloud, iHeartRadio, or all the other platforms we're on, if you aren't already following and subscribing us there, please do. If you go to WokenFree.com and click on Listen, you can see where our show is on all our different platforms. We actually are in 25 different places, so please support and follow us across the way on all the platforms. Have you shared an episode recently? If not, this would definitely be an entertaining and informational episode to share with friends and family, so make sure you do so. If you are not connected with us on social media, you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and even uh, YouTube at Woken Free. So if we're not friends, let's be friends. And then if you haven't reviewed our show on any of the platforms we're on, so for instance, iTunes or Stitcher or soundcloud or iHeartRadio, or even on social media like our facebook page please review the show share your thoughts see how you uh you know feel about us so that we can give you more of what you want each week we like to share a little bit about us before we dive into the topic for the episode last week we shared would you rather be an angel on your friend's shoulder or a devil on your enemy's shoulder this week we're sharing would you rather eat an entire jar of olives or a sauerkraut in 15 minutes that's like the most like disgusting question I've had I've been posed with for today. So my answer is neither. I you choose, go for pickles. I choose death. No, <laughs> you you can't choose that, Tosh. <laughs> you can choose pickles, but definitely not death. That's no. not a jar. I'd so. rather die a thousand deaths. Wow! So you <laughs> couldn't do even pickles, even. I, I like a little bit of pickle uh, love in my life, but olives are definitely a no no, and sauerkraut. I, like, I can't even spell it, Miss List, even, like, <laughs> en envision eating it. What's your answer? Mine would be the sauerkraut, because you could put it on hot dogs. Ugh. I mean, you're ruining the hot dog, but Ugh. it's still, it, you're still able to eat it. Deeply olives. Disturbed. Some people love olives. I, I don't yeah. like them at all. So I can't eat the olives. I know. It's like, ugh. And then, ugh. if there was pickles, then I couldn't do that at all, either. Ugh. <laughs> We've got to move on unless you want me to start puking <laughs> anytime soon. <laughs> it was some interesting treats there, but mm -hmm. yeah, we can go on now. Mm -hmm. Then we got to ask then, can you buy your future success? Uh, no. <laughs> the wow. answer is no. All right. I, I pride myself in spending a lot of time consuming content of people that I would deem successful or influential. And some of these people you may have heard, maybe, I don't know, Oprah. Tony Robbins, Gary Vaynerchuk, Bill Gates, or anyone else at the top of their game, or I don't know, in the top 1% of the nation or the world. And uh, I have yet to have heard any of these people say, you know, I'm so glad that I bought this $7.99 course or this $15.99 program because it made me make $10 million or $100 million or I was able to pay off da da da, right? So the, the reason why I think we needed to bring this to Welcome Free Nation is because we recently went to, we've gone to a couple of programs. We've gone to programs where we've seen Barbara Cochran. We've seen Damon John, shout out to the Shark Tank fans. We have seen Kevin O'Leary, actually, all of this happened, uh, I believe this year and last year we saw these these people, these young yeah. folks. And what was interesting is their talks were very inspirational and motivational, but they were either preceded by or uh, yeah, all yeah, preceded, preceded all preceded by these programs that they were selling for seven ninety nine and three ninety nine and two ninety nine and fifteen ninety nine and fourteen ninety nine and. The, what didn't make sense was none of them talked about doing some of the any of these types of programs in their own journey of success. So it begs the question that why should us average folk 
believe and or subscribe and or buy into these programs where the successful people themselves are not mentioning <laughs> that they did any of these <laughs> programs for their own success. So to me, it's just not making sense. I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing your thoughts on the matter. Uh, but generally, I would preface by saying coursework as, as a whole definitely makes sense, right? That's why we establish colleges and there are online courses. If you're taking a course to learn a skill, if you're taking a course for personal and professional development, which you still have to put into practice and de define your own pace and program for, that makes sense. Those are legitimate things, most well, yeah. likely. But, but <laughs> a course that's going to teach you how to understand the secret sauce of the, the stock market in three days, understand how to buy title liens and be ahead of the game, I just don't really think they make a bit of sense because then why aren't we all doing this and why do we still have poverty and homeless people in this we, country? Well, yeah, Talk a, a good differentiation. <laughs> A good thing to point out is that look at school and then look at those courses, not not the courses, but those financial well-being mm -hmm. things that are pitched on stage. And what you see is school doesn't actually show you, hey, do this and you get this amount of money from it and you'll mm -hmm. be financially free. They never mm -hmm. pitch you on financial freedom or any of that. Mm -hmm. But these things do. They pitch you on, oh, look, you're going to be able to do this. It's going to make you so wealthy. You'll you just follow this. Debt. Yeah, see, they pitch all these things of how it's going to help your life and mm -hmm. not really go into what's the value of the thing itself. Like, mm -hmm. why do you want to do the, these things? Like, what's, what, what's fulfilling about it? Like, exactly. is it fulfilling selling stocks for you or learning more about the company? They never go into mm -hmm. that. It's kind of mm -hmm. like, just do whatever this is. You might hate it. You might love it. Whatever. We don't care. But if you're it's smart, gonna help you're going to you. do this. Yeah. And it's just, it's just a impulse by per, a per, uh, what is that bravado and it's it, it seems i don't want to say scammy but it just seems like i just i question the the vitality and the truthfulness of how much it's really helping those participants compared to the successful people who do things that they love yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then it happens to just earn the money and listen, <laughs> that, that's the happenstance of it listen, they're just doing stuff that they enjoy we are not coming at the hustle of the shark tank people i mean i do think it's interesting that all three of those folks are on shark tank and all three of those participated in events where those types of programs were sold but yet none of those three people ever mentioned doing something of the of they the never used it they never so yeah. barbara cochran says you know she had a thousand dollars that was i think loaned to her for her to build her real estate empire she never said she put that thousand dollars and went and took a, a title lean course uh, <laughs> 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 She didn't buy savings bonds with it no, and sell it for buy, yeah. a dime on the dollar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she didn't buy option <laughs> stocks and sell options. None of these people she didn't do option <laughs> trading. <laughs> oh, okay. So I'm just confused because, like, I get it. I get that this is a part of ways that they're making money being a part of these events and these promotions are being offered. But, like... <laughs> It's weird that there's technically no connection it between. It is weird a the, little bit because even if you saw the million dollar listing guy, uh, yeah, he and his he just did a he was at the Kevin O'Leary event, and again he mentioned how he got into him and his brother got into real estate, but yet they never talked about doing one of these. Yeah, then it never came so up. So yeah. why <laughs> mm. can you buy your future success? Well, I like the uh, entrepreneur.com. They actually have an article titled Money Can't Buy You Success. I think that kind of <laughs> answers the question in that author's mind. And what they actually they talk about, what we were just talking about, but most venture capitalists, they actually like work long, hard years in the career. And actually what he found was that their goals are not even related to working for wealth. Mm. And remember those courses, that's yeah, all, about all about the wealth. Working towards wealth. It yeah. never talks about the course itself. or passion. Nothing. Yeah, it's just yeah, like yeah, yeah. you're oh, doing this because mm. this is cash only. And he said, yeah, he's never met a venture capitalist where they were just trying to get as much money as possible. Like mm. it was, they were working in careers like a, being an engineer. They were oh, interesting. lawyers, yeah. doctors. They had some sort of trade that they liked, and that trade just led them up to be right, becoming invest investors their eventually. And, and, and grow their yeah. growth money. And then, yeah, but they weren't in it for yeah, the money. Yeah, they're doing they organically. They weren't just looking like, them. how can I become an investor? Where will I get cash easy from? They didn't mm. just make that like statement. <laughs> they followed their passions. And then uh, I like one of the little th tidbit that he noted and that it's one of life's great ironies and that success leads to money. Money rarely leads to success. I think oh, that's a that's cool statement that he brought up. Oh, okay. 
Okay. Success leads to money. Money yeah. really leads to success. True. <laughs> so it means you can't chase the money. You have to chase success. You have to chase your passion. You have to chase uh, leadership and, and contribution and gra- gratitude and things like that that yeah. lead to actual wealth building, not, not money the is, reverse. Yeah. Money is not like the... It's not actually the definition of success people try to make it out to be. Yeah. When you close your eyes, I don't know if you like... And someone tells you, what do you picture as success? I don't know if mm. you picture yourself bathing in pools of cash. <laughs> no. You probably no, no. picture yourself doing what you love. Yeah, absolutely. That probably comes always, up. Always, always, yeah. Well, at least for us. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hopefully, man. Absolutely. Man. But listen, Woken Free Nation, are you currently dreaming of cash? <laughs> <laughs> Are you Scrooge McDuck? Is yes. what we're asking. <laughs> if you see <laughs> yourself jump in, the in cash. giant pools of money, <laughs> it's very. Put that in I mean, yeah. I mean, there's some people us, that might. Yeah, tell us how that has. Do you feel that's a, ha, helped you get these pools of cash that you find yourself? You in. dream about swimming yes, in cash, in so mind. now you get cash, yeah. I guess, because it's a, another use for the money. Yeah, is that true? Let's, just swim in let's it. hear it because you know there's not one way to win, and there's not one way that's to true. succeed in this world. So. If you have done any of these programs that have been associated with any of the Shark Tanks, uh, Shark Tank, com- you know, uh, folk, the Barbara Cochran, yeah, yeah, Damon, John, or Kevin O'Leary, we want to know because they definitely in the program will identify one to three people who've won at this. But <laughs> yeah. uh, are there others? And if so, what was your key to success? And I, I know it's not just Shark Tanks. There's other these oh, summits God, that yeah, go. Oh, there's so many. On. I think there's a couple coming around here in Phoenix, actually, yeah. which is really interesting. I see a lot of them in real estate. I see them mostly in real estate and like I know stock a lot are in real estate, yeah, real estate stocks. Real estate is like the the big banger there for yeah. some reason. Now, why do you believe people think it's possible to buy their future success, like with these programs or other types of? Uh, ventures <laughs> that they go on and, and approach well I, I think it's just the kind of get rich quick plan mm. and people think that doing this will have it'll eliminate all their problems and it'll do yeah. it in a timely manner. Gotcha. people don't want to be in the dark about oh no i don't know if i'll be able to afford this bill so if you're giving a plan that takes even just two months and it eliminates all your bills i mean just sure. <laughs> you think obviously I'm gonna yeah. do this. Why well, wouldn't yeah. it? Like I'm thinking mm-hmm. logically. I have bills. I want to eliminate them. So if I take this course, it'll do that. Yeah. I'm gonna do it. Too bad there's people out there that don't have your well being in mind. Yeah, like they're not exactly. they're not looking to make sure all your problems are taken care of. Guess what? They're looking to pay their bills too. Yeah. So exactly. people kind of they just they they forget that other people have their bills that they have to pay for and their problems they have to deal with. And they just think about themselves and they're Mm. like, all right. So thinking about myself, this person telling me I'll make money, I'm going to do it because I want to make money as fast as possible. I don't care. You know, (laughs) it's just not, it's, it's no issue for me to just dish out some money now if I'm going to make lots later. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like a, (laughs) they're not, they're being kind of naive, I think, in thinking. Because yeah, like you said again, how come there's even poor people? If all you if have to do this is buy is possible, in, then we—I mean, we would all be blithering idiots. Then I mean, if we're we but, all were doing our options trading, then yeah. what's up, right? I like, think that's like a, maybe that's part of human and animal nature. Those that kind of think you're like the world centers around you, and true. you know, you just happen to find out about this, and there's a, this whole room of thousands of other, and they just mm-hmm. happen. It's just the, those few that happen to be in on the secret, this big secret that gotcha. nobody else knew about. That's what they so kind they of just think. They all think there's like a finite group of Frodo's. Yeah, who they're like, going to go on their yeah, it, Hobbit mission. It's, yeah. yeah, it's it's like a super. It's almost like a cult. Like when you get into mm. the cult, you feel like oh nobody else knows about this, so that's mm. why this makes it so special. So that's the sort of feeling that I think people get. It's like they go, they see it, and they're like oh there's all these people that don't know about it, but now they know. So this is how it's spreading. You know, this is why it's not out there. We don't see this on TV gotcha. every day. Gotcha. So that also okay. gives it the illusion of kind of like they're special. You know, this yeah. is not shown to them every day because these courses, yeah, it's not like you go on TV and you no. see them either. Like yeah, they're, a, this these things are pitched. Pony is, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, pitched very specifically. Yeah, 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 it's on a stage. Yeah, it's not very like widely shown. It's not on commercials and. It's not shown on the news, so it makes people think that, oh, they got this like secret. secret. It's like, wow, nobody else knew this. <laughs> so <laughs> the people think, uh, that's what I think is affecting it and making people think. That, like, that's why people buy into those courses, actually. Those mm-hmm. ones that are just pitched on stage is get rich quick. 
instead of actually like doing their homework and going to learn about stuff and getting certifications and stuff. They sure. they look at these things and it's like, oh, all right. I mean, this is a quick way to success. And most people probably don't know about this, but I was I was lucky enough to find out. Good thing yeah. I got out of bed this morning for this uh, little summit. And also <laughs> these events, let's preface them. A lot of the, the ones that we attended with all of the three Shark Tanks we've seen have all been free. And free is a really great entree. That's right, a good motivator because, to get people in. Yeah, yep, they're going to come in and they're like, wow, they must be doing this because it works because they're giving us the opportunity to hear about it for free. And uh, I, I don't think yeah, they're seeing the bigger picture. And granted, again, I do want us to preface, we adore the Shark Tank part presenters hey, i actually, like seeing their stuff yeah, yeah they give some nice tips have uh we have a giveaway actually on wokenfree.com we'll share the link in this episode where you can actually enter to win a free signed copy of rise and grind by damon john so again the message is we love the shark tank people but these other programs that they seem to be associating with their branding just seems a little interesting. Yeah, that's <laughs> a good word, least. yeah. Uh, my answer to kind of why do people believe they can buy their future success comes down to the following reasons. People are lazy as Seymour. <laughs> I'm sorry, like AF. They so are you just think lazy. the laziness? They would ra- it's the same reason why people would rather buy followers on social media. Same thing, like we could go and buy ourselves 100,000 followers for not that much for woke and free and mm. woohoo I have, we have a hundred thousand followers that we bought woohoo but guess what those numbers don't do anything because at the end of the day you don't know what the consequence of of accounts that have bought followers is going to be for all well, you yeah, imagine. get kicked off of all platforms and yeah. banned and then there goes your numbers and your engagement is going to be zero to none because <laughs> they're all bots or old accounts or you know so it's it's not really Getting the number that you want, yeah, it'd be great to have a hundred thousand followers today, but it needs to be organic, real people that are following your message and that are coming behind what you're saying, not just getting numbers because numbers alone is not going to cut it. Uh, you mentioned the gullibleness, you mentioned desperation. Yeah. I get it, right? We all have bills. Y'all don't want to know how much student loan debt I have. If you did, you would you would fall to the floor this moment. <laughs> <laughs> it is the most amount of... I never thought I would be in this kind of debt in my life. Uh, <laughs> it is uh, astronomical, but it is not a reason to go out into the streets trying to do anything. I mean, you know, at what point, if you, you'll do any... You're going to start turning tricks? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> like, come on, man. We have to have a little bit of dignity, and <laughs> we have to have an understanding that... Money comes easily and freely. If you follow the law of attraction, if you understand the real secret of success, which we talked about, and you'll be able to access the link in this episode, uh, it is not about just doing anything to see if it works because that's, that's not what successful people do. Yeah. They focus in and they get very focused on what are they passionate about? What do they do well? And they monetize and they work for the next 10 to 20 years, y'all. It's not four to six months. It is. <laughs> It is years. It is the long success is a long game. It is never a short game. Uh, and anyone who does receive success in a short time, they're unicorns and God bless them. But that's for the most <laughs> majority of people. It is a long game. And, yeah, and then you again talked about uh, people just willing to try anything for just to change your circumstance. And I get it. Right. We have things that we want to change about our life right yeah. this minute. But we're, we're not turning tricks. To, Any means possible. To make it happen. Like yeah. we, we we gotta we gotta focus and and work hard and and that's what's gonna get us what we want. You are listening to Woke and Free. 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 A podcast that is real and honest. Now, do you think people will actually stop trying to buy their future success, or is this gonna just mm, <laughs> go fade on away forever? Yeah, or go on forever? Yeah. yeah. Uh, sadly, no. I think as long as these continue, these programs continue to be offered, people are going to continue to be desperate. People are going to continue to have hope in the wrong things and have this unwillingness to believe in themselves. It's so interesting because we've both seen how people are willing. We've seen people drop thousands of dollars in matters of an hour to just, you know, buy it for this $7.99 program and this $3.99 and this $14.99. Yeah. I mean, they will people drop, can I, throw I didn't some know money down money pretty like quick. That. I've never, I've I've never done that. So I, I, you know, until I went to these programs and saw that we were really astound, astounded at the level of desperation in the room. <laughs> and, uh, you know, as long as you have, you know, these, unfortunately, when you have really successful people, 
attaching their names to these programs, they're going to say, well, they're successful and they wouldn't recommend something that they wouldn't, wouldn't want to do. Right. Like they're, they're kind of rationalizing. This they're using that as ten, tentative connection, but it's <laughs> none of these people. We saw all of these successful people, all millionaires come up on stage and none of them said unless, they did these programs. Unless the <laughs> listeners can tell us of a, of, of one that's different of yeah. a seminar which they I said I did this and yeah, look I'm we've actually yet to in the same spot we haven't seen it yet say, share their story and at any point include that they bought one bought into one of these programs yeah. so the, the we just have like question marks in front of our eyes like question mark question mark <laughs> yeah. it's not quite clear what are your thoughts I think that it'll definitely continue forever because mm-hmm. uh, I see people well, what happens is that these people see others like on social media, on TV, and they'll, they don't, they don't see all the hard work that the person put in to mm-hmm. get where they are. They just think it's overnight and they feel yeah. that every, all these successful people are just unicorns. They're all turning all this money overnight. They don't realize all the hard work, all the blood, sweat, and tears put in to create the success that they have now. Yeah. So when you see that overnight success, you're like, man, I want to be able to do mm-hmm. that. So I think anything that gives them that shot of being an overnight success, which it's impossible. There's no mm-hmm. such thing as that. That's the, there's no one where it was just like, Oh, you know what? I came up with the idea. I'm going to do this. And then the next day they just were like, Oh, I'm financially free. It's impossible. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it is not possible. It's not, it's going to take time and work. You don't know the hours that are put in. You don't know how much sleep was lost. You don't know how many beer pong nights was missed. You don't know all that stuff. Oh, snap. (laughs) Because that's the funny thing. If these people go back home and they like chugging it down, I mean, come on, you're doing that instead of like putting it to work. And that's actually an excellent point that you bring up because the, the real reason I think why most people struggle with really actualizing certain success in their life is there are so many distractions, right? Yeah, you're going to go do other stuff, I couldn't even tell you how many TV shows I would love to watch all day long. I I couldn't tell you how many movies, how many songs I would love to listen to. But at the end of the day, you have to decide what role do you want to play in your own success? Because sadly, successful people, I doubt, are doing a bunch of Netflix binging <laughs> Yeah, when, <you> should... <laughs> when they could be writing that book and planning a book tour and and networking like crazy and investing in, in, in financial plans that actually get them somewhere. Well, reading, yeah, too. I mean, just reading in general. That takes some time. I'm so proud of myself. I'm up to 69 books this year. My goal is to hit 100, over 100, and to keep pushing that number because Warren Buffett Buffett is reading hours and hours a day. And if I could do anything similar to someone, I think I would like to emulate the success of Warren Buffett. So, yeah, knowledge is power, right? So, when active, (laughs) when when used, but you've got to obtain it as the first step. So, exactly, we gotta, we gotta, and guys, audiobooks man audiobooks don't don't discount that's a good audiobooks. Trip, yeah. that's a really great way to consume content too but we we can't just hand over our checkbook or swipe a credit card and be like yes next thursday million dollar status baby it's it's yeah. it's just the same thing as why people play the lotto the I lotto know. will be around forever that's as well a sad sad establishment it's a well. good it's it's great a tax it's for poor, the government it's, poor, it's a poor man's tax it's, yeah, it's a good tax system i mean because it's good what i like about it is it, it's optional I wish that all tax was like that. Word. <laughs> it's Word. optional. But. Yes, yes, yes. But I think it's that time. Here we go, yo. Here we go, yo. So what's, what's, what's the scenario? It's scenario time, guys. Scenario one. Phyllis went to a free summit to see a big tech entrepreneur that she looks up to. During the summit, there were five other speakers pitching courses and software to the audience to help them towards financial freedom. All of the speakers even brought supposed real users on stage as testimonials. Since Phyllis loves the headlining tech entrepreneur, should she buy in on any of these offers? Ah, very symbolic of what we were discussing in the episode. Mm. Yeah. How perfect. Yeah. Okay. Very well, very interesting. Uh, Phyllis, yay for Phyllis for wanting to see the, you know, this person that she admires. However, she has to ask herself the question that we asked in this, in this episode, which is, did this tech entrepreneur do any of these courses in their tenure or in their journey of becoming successful? If not, then why should you? That 
is it's, always be the question, right? That's the first question, right? I think, Definitely. and so if they did, why did it work? Why didn't it work? Try to get those type, that type of context from the person, even if they tell you it's today only five ninety nine. Oh well, <laughs> yeah. you've got to get more information before we just hand over cash because the cash spent it can be very well for good use, but it needs to it needs to be in line with what you're looking for. And if you're just looking to buy a program attached to someone's name as opposed to a, a program that that person actually invested in themselves and did two different things, right? So what exactly? Uh, is this course going to deliver for you? Why does this tech entrepreneur actually recommend it and move on? If none of those answers can be obtained, then she's got to say, peace out. It's been <laughs> real. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's definitely true. And then I, I think what I like to do just in general, even when shopping, is I like to look at reviews and mm. other people's prior experience. And I what I do... Uh, and I have to do it. I, I need to find like one star and zero reviews because <laughs> even though sometimes they're, they're, they're like, yeah, they're extreme and crazy. It can give you some perspective and then it'll show you that all these other reviews are probably not paid for. Sure. Because the problem is, is nowadays, yeah, you go online, you see reviews. If it's 35 star ratings and there's no one star ratings, those are probably paid for reviews mm -hmm. because there's always someone that's going to be disgruntled. So yeah. I like to see a mix of reviews too on this thing. Okay. And I, I've seen that with certain offerings, even that one's not just seen uh, on stage, but online mm -hmm. you'll go and you'll search up the company and it'll be a perfect five star rating. Then you know that, wait a minute, nobody's disgruntled. Cause remember everybody can't be pleased. Sure. Even if this course is really good, there's people that might not follow through with everything they tell you exactly. and those people are going to rate it. And if you don't, see those rating that's a red flag there's something wrong here so i must see the one star reviews the, the negativity yeah i have to see that just to tell me that all right this is most likely at least these are real reviews okay. because no one's paying i mean that would be a new thing pay reviewers to put bad ratings but no one's doing that <laughs> <laughs> no one's doing they don't they pay like, for the shining star it's so bad dot 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 yeah like, they're like you know this was bad i wish it could be better one yeah. star. Or, I got it. I, this was bad because I only got paid $25 to write this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You could do that. <laughs> nice. <laughs> they did not pay me enough for yeah, this. Yeah. <laughs> I heard other people got 30 This yeah. blows. <laughs> see? That, that's the thing. So, you know, you got you to gotta at least see some reviews. Because they don't, they don't even tell you. They usually don't tell you, hey, go online and see what my reviews say. And yeah. if they do tell you that, they're all shining reviews, right? Then yeah, th th sure. that's a red flag. But you know what's interesting? You just have a, you just shared a marketing tool, uh, thing that people could do. Be like, go to our website and see what our worst review is. And that, yeah, could, that would have to be, be worst reviews. Because, yeah, the yeah. worst review is this, per this program was perfect. I have nothing bad to say. Then you know that this person might not be in this country. That's uh, a red flag. This yeah. person was paid over 150 bucks. Like, yeah. you know, things like that. Yeah. I mean, the worst that some people do is they'll pay a reviewer to leave a review and maybe it'll be like a four star rating. So mm. it's still passing, but it's, they, they, they try to mark it down a little bit to see, sure. make it seem more organic. This they is do real. that. This is real, but you know what? I wish I knew about it sooner. <laughs> but something like that. If only I found out about this sooner. Yeah. Their, their marketing well, actually, team isn't big now, enough. <laughs> they can say stuff I've, like that. I've seen reviews where it's like, I am a real person, and I what I was not paid to write this or to give this review. <laughs> so people, yeah, the reviews are getting really interesting. I love those ones. I was not paid, and I wasn't compensated in any yeah. way. I may have received the product in exchange for the review, yeah, yeah, but yeah. I'm not going to even state that. <laughs> Because that's not part of the getting review. Wild. See, getting wild yeah. Here, guys. So the reviews. I still think they're important though, because like I said, look at the. You got to look at the multitude of reviews. Don't just look at the perfect ones. Look for that range of different reviews, because that at least tells you that different people do it. Mm -hmm. And then look for key things where the person might say, "This is not like a get rich quick thing," because <laughs> people will tell you that too, and that that might be like, "Oh, all right." So if I put in work. Maybe I can earn extra money or yeah. be careful with this company because they say one thing and they it's another. Like that's they say right. they'll give you your money back, but try getting your money back. It doesn't actually work. If uh -huh. I see that, that's a red. F if I see that in any review and the company said that they were going to give money back mm -hmm. guarantee, then I'm gone. That's a red flag. I'm gone. Yeah. I'm not going to sign up with that company. Sure. And I've seen that before where Absolute people claim too. things and yeah. it's like when you actually go back and try to get the money. And they're like, no. Nah, you know what? Talk to our sales department. Yeah. Up sales is In on India, vacation right or, now. Yeah, like, oh, all right. You know what? They're going to call you back. <laughs> They're going to give like, you a call. Yeah. Leave your number. <laughs> and it, then you go through and you find it. out that yeah. this is like some defunct LLC 
Oh, located wow. in Ireland. I mean, it's something like that. Yeah, like, absolutely not. <laughs> so yeah, just be wary and look and do your own research. That's what I would suggest in this scenario. Mm-hmm. Scenario two: Garrett wanted to start his company, but needs some cash to buy the inventory he believes he can sell. A social media friend tells him he has made three thousand dollars a month working from home. All he needs to do is click the link and watch the video. What should Garrett do? This is too ominous because I actually have a video like this sent to me. <laughs> that, uh, several, actually. <laughs> and people swear by, have you looked at your video yet? And I'm like, it's your life. <laughs> I will look at the video. You never know. <laughs> yeah, you can. Yeah, you should chill. Yeah. You, listen, it's always better to get the education, get informed before you just shut things and shoot things down. It's a, you know, get informed. So, okay, Garrett, let's see. What shall we do, Garrett? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, again, I think you really spoke on it through the first scenario. So Garrett should probably do some research on the website, on the company. Uh, what are the reviews of other people who are making bula per month uh, working from home? And again, are we turning tricks? What are we doing at home? <laughs> 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 I know, it's, it's so what generic, you, right? Ooh la la! <laughs> it's so Isn't generic. that special type of uh, appointment you make? Uh, <laughs> so, you know, really find out that this is a, a legitimate business, that these are legal activities that one can engage in, and, uh, and is it something you want to do? And again, you mentioned this earlier in the episode, are we working because we need to just make money? Are we working because we're, we're working on things that we love, working on passion, working on things that are contributing, that's contributing goodness to the world, right? Because if you're just looking for that $4,000, $5,000 a month, yeah, you may or may not be able to get those jobs. But, you know, at the end of the day, are you going to be happy? Are you enjoying what you're doing? Because uh, there are plenty of people in this world who work and make good money and don't enjoy it. So yeah. you need to be mindful. But I s- sadly think that this video scenario is not really going to work out for Gary's favor. <laughs> <laughs> and you? I'd say before clicking on that link, uh, he needs to investigate where this video, where the link even leads him to. Mm. Like, don't, because some of those lead you to some weird sites and yes. don't. I don't suggest like getting viruses on your computer. Or maybe look at it on your phone, right? And maybe on your phone, yeah, because yeah, mm-hmm. at least you're not installing anything crazy, just to see where this thing goes. But you can maybe give it a shot, just to seeing it. But I don't know if you're going to buy into it because that's that's just so generic to say something like that. To say you can make this amount of money doing something at home, like that's it's too open ended. Like I what do you like you said? What are you actually doing? It's there's kind a lot of strange, of these that and there's a ton. You, well. Like yeah, yeah, this scenario is just—it's just touching on the fact that if you go through enough comments, you will see this comment yeah. made by somebody. Yeah, absolutely. You go through and the comment section on the site. People actually pay good money because co- as a recruiter, I'll oh, tell job you, posting too. You'll see it costs money to uh, to post these jobs. Some ads are five hundred bucks for the posting. So I don't know how much they're posting on Indeed to put these things, but I've definitely you see seen that. these. Okay, and yeah, like, yeah, it's true. Even out of control, there. guys. Out of control. Yeah, they're actually paying money to put this stuff down. Yeah. Because they know that the people are going to put hand and foot over trying to give over their money for these. I got to make, because again, well, who, yeah, here, you know open do. Nation, who could stand to make $3,000 this month, right? <laughs> That's a great proposition. <laughs> Raise your hand. Absolutely. The proposition alone I'll is fine, that. right? Absolutely. But <laughs> I'm not disagree. turning tricks and I'm not doing craziness. But will you, at, this, but so. will you uh, buy into a special licensing that you have to do before the agency signs you up to for potential jobs that are in the system? You talking smack to me? <laughs> no, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> they may or may not have opportunities oh, yeah. they, available, I'll pay but you got to actually pay it. system to yeah. potentially make this money. Yeah. That's not guaranteed. Yes. Yeah, it's not guaranteed. Okay, cool. And then they actually, what well, they may do paid training with you, but first you got to get another certification that allows you to participate and also in the paid training. And also sign up 10 other people. Yep. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> make sure you get referrals. Ponzi well, actually, scheme, well, <laughs> No, they'll, they'll actually lower the entry fee if you get enough referrals. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh and you can earn 1% commission per sale. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, See all the things we've read, guys? It's yeah, I mean, but these Absolutely. are real things that people say. I mean, they're really there. Absolutely. Oh, it, they're actually there. And I guess it's. I guess there's no law behind it. I don't know. I mean, I, yeah, I wouldn't know. I'm we not sure what the law is behind it, but yeah. these exist. These... Who deals with it, like the advertising laws and yeah, I'm not. not yeah, not very interesting. <laughs> yeah, very interesting. Scenario three. Veronica is a paralegal tired of the long hours she works at the office. She would like to become more financially savvy, but does not know what courses she should choose. 
She sees a real estate boot camp that says it will relieve you of financial burden, and she sees another course that is more expensive, requires 15 hours of reading a week, and doesn't make any guarantees. What should she do? Oh, that's a toughie, right? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it actually, this is, let's see what you go for. Though. Of course, let's see. of course. I'm not going to so say anything. Any yeah. program guaranteeing financial burden, guaranteeing you know your wellness in, 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 in getting Remember, away. these are two separate programs. Yeah, yeah, okay. of course. So I'm talking about the first one, right, the financial first one. burden situation, uh, and it's and I think you described it as a boot camp. Yeah. Uh, so it means it's probably like a short time frame, so two days, three days, yeah, seven days, weekend, something like that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, makes me a little bit weary because again, if anyone knows about real estate, it's a very complex, intricate, intricate industry, and if most people in it could make a bunch of money in a boot camp in a short amount of time, I'm not quite sure what everyone else is doing. So my initial they're thought is... They're just fools. Is, I guess they're, everyone just bloody fools. Yeah, just fools. We're just, just fools. oh, this is pure All madness walking around. Oh, that's yeah. so interesting. Uh, so my initial thought is to say no on that boot camp. But then this other expensive thing with the 15 hours of reading, again, doesn't necessarily guarantee success, but I'd want to look into that a little bit more because at least it's putting onus on you to do some work and there aren't any guarantees with which as you know when people go to college no one at Harvard yeah they don't make any guarantees either you have a guarantee two hundred thousand dollars salary absolutely not because they damn well know that's not how education that's not how work and success works that's it it doesn't work works. guess what guys there's no guarantee in life there's no guarantee you'll be alive at the end of today so (laughs) anything giving you guarantees it's, it's a little problematic because there's no guarantees in life there's nothing certain in life so how can this program be certain Mm, doesn't make sense yeah so i would say i'd be more inclined to go with that second one but i still more research has to be done and uh you know and and hopefully she can make the best decision that works for her but veronica probably stay far away from that first boot camp program. <laughs> very upset about that one how yeah. about you <laughs> yeah I, I would definitely run from the first one like mm-hmm. run for the hills as fast as possible because yeah. that seems really crazy. Come on, guys. Mm-hmm. That's, it's making things too easy right there, right? Yeah. You're going to get everything you wanted from this few day course. Yep, like, smart. I don't know about that one. Mm-hmm. Just just don't even, I would, you don't have to waste your time even looking into it. Yeah, I wouldn't look into it. Just that avoid one at it. All. Yeah. And for the second one, I think she should actually do the research on it and find yeah. out more about it because, yeah, it tells you you're going to have to work and. It actually, there's, there's no kind of like hint that this is going to make you successful no matter what, yeah. which is, which is good. They're not making any promises. They're just telling you how you can be more educated, which is what she's looking for. She mm-hmm. wants to become more financially savvy. So I think that would, one probably would be the one to go for in the end, as long as everything else checks out, you know, make sure yeah. this makes sense and that you're going to actually learn something from this and you can act on it later. Once you do all that, it might be worth it because you are looking for education. So mm-hmm. if that's one way to do it, even though it costs more than the other one, the other one's not even a real one, so you can't really compare it. So. <laughs> True. <laughs> that's like something thing. against nothing. Hmm. Yeah. The one thing that's is nothing. Hard. The one thing, the, the first thing is just telling you basically to burn your money. I mean, yeah. You'd be better off just burning it. You have more fun. Yeah, Yeah, you'd have more fun with that. Just go with the second one. That's what I say. That's what I say. Yeah. I I just think that we have to remember that there's nothing like none of these. You can't to buy your success is essentially saying you could buy your place in heaven, right? You could you could. Some people believe that (laughs) you tie their way to heaven. Sure. Uh, and you could also, what, I could buy, I could pay enough to meet Jesus tomorrow. Come on, man. Like, get a grip. Get it together. Like, stop being deranged and stop being so sad. We're yeah, better sad. than this. It's so, oh, so sad. Yes. No, no, no. Oh my goodness. It looks like we are at that time again. So much laughter. And Definitely. So much entertainment. We oh joy hope, yes we hope you had joy and that you are currently laughing away <laughs> this is, this is the end of our 105th episode of woke okay, and free, free. Mm, mm, mm. oh boy what were we discussing oh boy it, indeed yeah. we were discussing whether you can buy your future success and we don't want to leave you hanging for what our next episode will be about drum roll please on our next episode, we will be discussing why do people lie? Make sure you follow us on social media to follow along in the conversation. Make sure you tune in next week for Woken Free Wednesday to join the conversation at WokenFree.com. 
If you'd like to be a guest on the show, submit a topic for an upcoming episode or share how you feel on our contact us page at WokenFree.com. Currently, we're probably only picking up some more guests later this year. But before you know it, we're going to be looking into 2020. So reach out, contact us page at WokenFree.com. That is W-O-K-E-N-F-R-E-E.com. If you haven't hit us up on social media and you'd like to chat, share some breaking news, find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at WokenFree. Definitely talking to people about sponsorships. If you too are interested in sponsoring some episodes, we have some really great programs that are available. How do you find out about it? You have to contact us on our contact us page at WokenFree.com. If you didn't already subscribe, please do share the episode and make sure you come back to join the conversation every Wednesday for Woken Free Wednesdays. Remember, Woken Free is more than a podcast. It is a way of life. Until next time.